Coach knows best and I'm doing a video over the design of my MacBook Pro. Uh, a couple people have sent me messages and left me comments wanting to see a video over this, so here it is. Um, as you see, the MacBook Pro is encased in a, a aluminum casing. And uh, it's very sleek and still stylish and sexy, even though the design is about uh, six years old because the last model of the PowerBooks was, had a very similar design. It still looks good. still looks kind of, I want to say futuristic a little bit. Anyway, on the, the lid of your MacBook Pro, which is also fine on the MacBook, you'll find the Apple logo, which lights up when you uh, turn your computer on and it lights off and turns off when you um, close your lid and make your MacBook Pro go to sleep or you just turn it off completely. Alright, I'll start with the front of the MacBook Pro. And what you'll find here first is the um, infrared receiver right here which the Apple remote uses and you can connect anything else you use with your um, infrared you find the lid to open and close the lid just press it in to open it and you close it automatically latches like that and you'll find the super drive which reads and writes DVDs and CDs uh, it's very fast very fast it burned a, about three CDs in just a matter of minutes so it works very efficiently and fast on the right side of the MacBook Pro you'll find a security hole right here you can latch up uh, some type of security cable or whatever to keep your MacBook Pro secure. Um, you'll find one of the two USB ports right here. You'll find your FireWire 400 and 800 ports right here. You can connect your printers, your digital camcorders or cameras or anything else you need to connect to your computer. Uh, you'll find the Ethernet port and the uh, DB in and out. Uh, out, I mean, for the external monitor that you may have. And then you on the other side, you'll find the uh, port for your AC adapter to plug in at. You find the other USB port right here. Uh, you find your headphone jacks and microphone inputs right there. Uh, and then you find your express card slot right here. And um, that's pretty much the main things you need to connect in and out of your MacBook Pro and I'll show you the back of it in the back of you'll see a little slot right here uh, this is to help with cooling and heat issues and get the heat and vent the heat out of your MacBook Pro uh, I got a little rubber dies uh, backing right here to keep you from getting scratches on the back so that's pretty much the outside design of it I'll go ahead and open it up here uh, first let me show you the uh, AC adapter And the AC adapter comes like so. Comes in the box. All you do is plug it up to the wall. And when Apple has done, they have um, added this magnetic latch to it, which is very creative and very smart, and it really makes sense. Uh, surprised other companies haven't done it yet. Probably because they don't want to go with copyright issues or whatever. But anyway, Apple has done it, and um, what it is is simply this little core right here, and you plug it in, and it's magnetic. It'll kind of like actually suck it in, like so. You can see it's sucking in. Um, and it's still good. Like you, you, you rarely like accidentally unplug it. Um, that rarely happens to me, but it, it's really fit for the motion to save you when you accidentally trip over your cord and instead of taking your whole laptop down with you, you'll just be the only one that falls. Uh, so it's very ingenious. It, it, it works and it just makes sense. Alright, so that's a quick look on the outside of the MacBook Pro. Go ahead and boot it up here real quick. Show you the keyboard and the mouse pad. Alright, this is the 15.4 inch screen. Um, it's a matte screen, not glossy. And you find the keyboard. It's one of the best keyboards I ever worked with on the laptop. It's very comfortable. The keys are responsive. Um, it is backlit. I'll show you here in a second once I turn it on. Uh, there you find the power button. 
and you have two speakers on each side of your keyboard speaker grills right there and here you find your multi-touch track pad or mouse pad um, to use the gestures like you'll find in the iPhone and what the MacBook Air first came out with to like rotate and zoom in on your pictures or scroll through your internet web um, internet pages back and forth and stuff like that it, it, it's very handy um, in a little button right there you used to click in with it so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on love that sound and while it's booting up I'll go ahead and show you the box that uh, my MacBook Pro came in the box is very nice I mean uh, you keep the box you're not going to throw away this box um, it's good for when you're trying to resell it to keep it also but the box just, it just looks good it just looks good and it comes in this type of uh, zoom out here a little bit styrofoam casing the neatest styrofoam I've ever seen everything comes wrapped up and then you find uh, your instruction manual your uh, CDs and everything you need to work with that the DV in and out alright so that's the box and I have my MacBook Pro all booted up here and I go ahead and activate this because I love it All right. Now I'm going to turn off the light so you can see the uh, backlit keyboard at its finest. Automatically turns on. Very nice when you work in the dark. Alright, so um, there you have it. That's the quick design, quick design look of the MacBook Pro. Um, again, this has been Soldier Knows Best. You can subscribe to my channel. I do videos like this all the time over the word of Apple and um, all their computers and the iPhone and pretty much anything that deals with technology. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.